welcome back to this part three of our reaction to Rocky or Riding K Premium Riding. God, that is a mouthful. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you saw a very cut up version of it. Uh, if you'd like to see the full uncut version, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description below and the pinned comment. And at the end of this, we will talk about it and talk about how much we loved it. Uh, well, I loved it. Steph probably hates it. Remains to be seen. <laughs> yes. Uh, so go check that out on Patreon and let's get back into this. Look at that set. Look at that set. Look at that set. You have to break your पेशेवर नचनिया जब देखो मुजरा करदा फिरदा है कार की जनानी पे कोई कंट्रोल नहीं मां शराबन दादी इश्क लड़ा रही है हैं कुड़ी ते बदमाक बदतमीज है ही ए पूरा दा पूरा परिवार ही घटिया क्योंकि हमारे घरों में औरतों को मर्दों की जागीर नहीं समझा जाता रॉकी मैं ए दे नाल गाल नहीं कर रहा बिना मर्जी बेटियों की शादी नहीं करवाई जाती रॉकी किसी के सपनों का गला नहीं घोटा जाता रॉकी बोल इसे हम डर के साथ नहीं मोहब्बत के साथ रहते और बहुत नसीब से मिलती ऐसी घटिया फैमिली रॉकी चुप कर ऐसे बात नहीं कर रहा ऐसे मैं बात कर रही हूं मैंने हाथ नहीं उठाया नहीं तूने हाथ कैसे उठाया मैंने कोई हाथ नहीं उठाया तूने सुना नहीं वो क्या कह रहे थे अभी कैसे इंसल्ट कर रहे थे मेरी फैमिली की तू क्या चाहता है कि मैं चुप रहूं तेरे घर की बाकी औरतों की तरह उनको इसमें मत घसीट जब वो मेरी फैमिली को इसमें घसीट रहे थे तब तू क्या कर रहा था एक सेकंड मुझे भी इनकी बातों से इनकी बिहेवियर से प्रॉब्लम है मैंने कहा आज त्यौहार है आज बात नहीं करेंगे तूने बोला जा बात कर ले अब मैं अपने वे में हैंडल कर रहा हूं मुझे हैंडल करने दे रॉकी तू सीधे बात भी नहीं कर सकता इनसे इनकी आंख में आग डाल के देख भी नहीं सकता है तू देख सकता हूं लेकिन मैं देखता नहीं हूं क्योंकि मैं बड़ों की इज्जत करता हूं ये बनावटी इज्जत तू अपने पास ही रख बड़े हैं बुजुर्ग हैं लेकिन बेइज्जती करने का हक इनको भी नहीं है और तू सही कहती है हम दोनों बहुत अलग हैं और कितनी भी कोशिश कर लेना हमारे बीच के फर्क खत्म नहीं होंगे फर्क तो खत्म नहीं होगी मगर ये रिश्ता खत्म हो चुका है रॉकी उस दिन आपने झूठ कहा था आपके लिए परिवार पहले नहीं आता मुबारक हो एक बार फिर आपके घर में सिर्फ एक ही औरत खुश रहेगी वो अपने माँ का भी बेटा है है वो अपने माँ का बेटा लेकिन जिसने अपने माँ का साथ नहीं दिया वो मेरा साथ क्या देगा ऐसे फैमिली के साथ रिलेशनशिप कैसे निभा पाऊंगी मैं प्लीज टेल मी रॉकी ऐसा नहीं है अरे आपको कैसे पता और इसलिए आप तो रिलेशनशिप एडवाइस मत ही दो यू चीटर ना दादू बिल्कुल अफसोस नहीं हमारा दादू हाथ उठाता था मेरे ऊपर छंद को बेल्ट से मारता था झीन आता था तुम्हारा दादू ऊपर से तो बहुत पॉलिश दिखता था किंतु भीतरे वो भी बिल्कुल तिजोरी जैसा था किंतु तुम्हारे बाबा ऐसा नहीं है चेंज जैसा रॉकी अपना बाबा जैसा नहीं है तुम ही डिसाइड करो क्या तुमको भी सत्तर साल का जामरी बन के रहना है जिसका सारा जीवन मोहब्बत का इंतजार भी गुजर के बोलो अजय जो मेरी बेजती हुई है ना कभी नहीं बोला ना मैं सबसे ज्यादा बेजती तो मेरी हुई है ओए टीवी बंद करी तू तो मुंह काला कराइए कोई ना रोको दिल की उड़ान को दिल वो चला हाँ 
खानी रब की तू होश में तो है पहली बार होश में आया हूँ दादी और अब मेरा डर खत्म हो गया दादी ओए मम्मी जी नाल ढंग से बात कर पहले आप मेरी मम्मी से ढंग से बात कीजिए नालायक बाप दे मुंह लगता है <laughs> बाप जो खुद अपने बाप का बेटा नहीं बन सका वो मेरा बाप क्या बनेगा उसने आपकी इज्जत नहीं करी और मेरे घर के बड़ों की इज्जत नहीं करी और मैंने उससे रिश्ता तोड़ लिया अब आप मेरी मम्मी की है जिनको मैं भगवान मानता हूं आप उनकी इज्जत नहीं करते मुझे आपके साथ भी रिश्ता तोड़ना पड़ेगा तू इस परिवार का खून नहीं हो सकता है नहीं दादी मेरे रगों में आपका खून है पर मेरी दिल की धड़कनों में आप में नामो निशान नहीं है आप बिल्कुल अकेली हो आप बेटे घर नहीं तोड़ा करते घर नहीं तोड़ा करते इनसे कहिए यहाँ से जाए प्रणाम कर आमी पूनम मैं जानता हूं मैं माफी तो हकदार तो नहीं हाँ पर अगर तू मैनू नहीं खुद औरत होकर भी उन्होंने कभी दूसरी औरतों की इज्जत नहीं की इससे बड़ी बदनसी भी और क्या हो सकती आपको इस घर का मर्द बनाते बनाते वो भूल गई कि आप सिर्फ अपनी मां के बेटे नहीं हैं। अब आप अपने पछतावे में कैद है और मैं आजाद हूं आपको आपकी ये कैद मुबारक हो तिजोरी जी बदतमीज इस तरह बात करते अपने पति से पहले आप मेरी बीवी लाल ढंग से बात करो अपनी मां के खिलाफ आवाज उठाएगा ऐसे संस्कार दिए मैंने केड़े संस्कार मम्मी जी संस्कार दिए ही कहा मैं मांगी हुई माफी के लायक भी नहीं पर आज से मैं फिर माफी कमाने की पूरी कोशिश करूंगा ठाकुर माँ हम ही जा सके तो माफ कर देना अंकल प्लीज मैंने जो कहा मैंने जो किया मैं भी गलत थी हम दिल से चाहते हैं कि और तुम राजी हो तो तो एक प्यार का मारा आशिक बाहर तुम्हारा इंतजार कर रहा है आज मेरी गाड़ी में बैठ जा प्रेम कहानी यार नॉट इट एंड
इस उम्र में मेरा घमंड और अहंकार मुझे ये मानने नहीं देगा कि शायद मैं भी कभी गलत हो सकती हूँ तभी तुम्हें अशांति का प्रस्ताव भेज रही हूँ बूंदी के लड्डू की पुश्तैनी विधि शादी मुबारक हो बेटा चुक चुक जी I don't know what it was. Um I I mean I saw it once so it's possible that it was in there and I just forgot that that part wasn't in there or I don't know maybe I I I thought it was. Anyways. What do you think? I really loved it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's a really great movie. Probably my favorite Karen Johar film. Full through. It was It was very, very good. I'll talk about it because they've already heard my opinions. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's um, one of my favorite things about it is how introspective it is for Kieran Johar, in my opinion, in terms of his films, especially in the '90s, the K3Gs of the world. Um, and other, and others. I put certain things in them that would now be deemed inappropriate or wrong, but it was stuff that either it was already done in the culture or it, 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 um, perpetuated it because of his films a lot, because mm. that's just like the, I forget what the exact word, gudu or gordu or whatever it is, the, the word. Um, yes. Yeah. We've heard it in. A thousand films, Indian films, yeah. um, and it's just it was it's part of the culture. It's awful, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, um, and then the fact that also, um, Jaya didn't get a redemption arc like Amitabh got in K three G. Totally, yeah. Um, even though I mean, she on her side, she kind of was like. I'm sorry, but she didn't get like a full welcome back to the family moment yeah. of <laughs> like, you know, yeah. it happens in a lot of Indian films because, you know, that's part of the culture. Family is everything. I get it. But like, yeah. I feel like it, it was a lot of this was like, and I, that, that whole beautiful scene that Ranveer did wonderfully about when he Incredibly um, powerful. Um, went up to um, Ali, his father. And that whole thing about how can we be canceled? We didn't, we didn't know. Um, I'm, you know, I'm still learning all that. I felt like a lot of this film was very introspective for Karen Johar. Um, as well as just, I think, maybe outside of his short and lust stories, uh, which was a brilliant short. And you saw that, right? Yeah, you saw it. You watched that with me. Well, probably my favorite Karen Johar film. Through and through. I think even though the songs and the other ones are, I think, more memorable, even though they're great, I think they're more memorable. Like, K3, like yeah. they're just iconic. Um, I think it was, it was beautiful. It was super fun, but it was very powerful as well. Mm -hmm. Like it had a lot of very strong messaging and, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, however, if I would have known I was going to tear up so much, I wouldn't have done a watch along. <laughs> <laughs> so, How many times did you tear up? Obviously like, that scene... Did yeah, so basically when Dad started talking yeah, when yeah, he yeah, came yeah, home yeah, and he apologized. Scene. I knew you would cry at that scene. Um, basically all through that. Um, when when he started dancing and then he moved out of the way and Rocky was dancing with him, I teared up. And you haven't even seen Dev Doth. It's true, I have not. Um, there, 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 that song was. But it was more for me about how their relationship had grown then because like I can't imagine like a rifted relationship with my dad yeah like that's ugh ugh so like anything dad luckily your dad's nothing like that guy luckily <laughs> <laughs> but but like also like 
I like think about that. Like, what if we before we got married, we like spent three months with each other's family? I mean, like our families aren't terrible people, so that's. Good. I don't think your parents can handle me. We got that going. <laughs> Maybe like go away. <laughs> we need a break. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like, that's crazy. But also so cool mm. if they're good people. It's such a difference in culture, obviously. Yeah. The it's a mesh of literal yeah. families because you live with them a lot yeah. of times. Um, um, oh, the other thing that got me is when uh, the dad said that respect has to go the full way, can't be halfway. I was like, oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's so many things that <laughs> it's just because I'm an American and. And the huge, huge line was, talent has no gender. It's true. Like, uh, That's a fact. Oh. Very progressive. So important. This film was very progressive, even though it's, you know, 2023. And, but for India, especially a mass film, um, a lot of progressive things um, in it. Without being, I think, heavy-handed as well. Because um, a lot of times... Certain films can just seem way too preachy, and it's not natural. Mm. I felt everything was very natural in it. Um, obviously. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like a soapbox. It mm-hmm. was like, it was a fun time with important messaging. Like, that was just, and so, I mean, just so important for the whole film that it came full circle the way it did. Then that Jaya didn't get her redemption. Like, no, you're not coming to the wedding. <laughs> you're not coming. <laughs> Uh, sure, send us a recipe, but, like... <laughs> Thanks for the recipe, I guess. Um, but... Unlike Amitabh's character in K3G, they shouldn't have been forgiven. I still, I still maintain that. But also, to Jaya's credit, she's always believable in everything she does. Like, she is. it is... It's insane. Funny enough, I said, though, um, that in this film... She was probably the most over the top of every character in it because she just had to be brooding. The oh whole my gosh! Time. Yeah, <laughs> she was so mad about everything. <laughs> yeah, and so like, even though I, don't, I, I still think she did a very good job, and she wasn't like like over the over the top, but normally, like in the '90s ones, you know, everybody else, Amitabh and and Shahrukh Khan so and everything and, is yeah. over the top, loud, extravagant, and she's just down here. Yeah, and she was the one that was probably a, more. Uh, out there just because her character was just mad. But all I mean, the in time. every interaction that was just Jaya and Alia, like, I, like, if I was put myself, if I was actually Ronnie in that situation, mm-hmm. I would be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no way I'd be able to, like, spout off quips and school her like that. I would just probably crumble into tears every time I was around her. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you, you and Ronnie aren't exactly the same person. Um, no, not even close. <laughs> um, no. But um, what did you think of the performances? It was very good. Mm-hmm. Were, were good. Um, I loved Renvir's performance in this. Yes. It's, he did. Um, and and st- they definitely have chemistry. It's, it, was, it was very dumb, the whole thing behind it um but the um and it was about the song before that everybody had seen the film which i think is so stupid to judge a film before you had seen the like judge a song mm. it's like you don't know where this is and because like in that part of the song they weren't together yeah. <laughs> it's basically a breakup kind of song almost right um Ranveer, i love i loved his performance in this because it was so well and there's so many things with Renvir that we don't notice because apparently he's very good at dialect. Like mm-hmm. in terms of in this one, he's Delhi, but I, he's Punjabi as well. But I think he, I think he has a Delhi accent in this, but I, maybe it's Punjabi. I don't know. Some type of accent in Gully Boy, he had a Mumbai accent. People like, he just, he sounded, he's not from Mumbai. He sounded like he was from Mumbai. Mm-hmm. And that's what everybody always praises him for his dialect. dialect. Uh, it's obviously something we can't really pick up on. Um, outside of, I was like, he sounds kind of different than he normally sounds like here. Yeah. But I can't, but it's similar to like, basically if, you know, how bad Benedict Cumberbatch's accent was in, in Black Mass. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I think, I mean, I, I 
dialect I have. But that's no... how we I was saying that's how we like we know when somebody's from uh Texas or if they're doing right. a Texas accent or a right. bad Texas accent or right. Californian or New York or whatever. That's what right. I'm so it's like that. And obviously I have no basis for that. I would yeah, me never either. I still I still don't either. But um I'm just always surprised at how he is able to draw you in to whatever he's it's doing. Char- like it's it, charisma. Yeah, yeah, he he has charisma for sure, but also like he's acting. He's got yeah. um uh some type of like He's got the it factor for sure. Babyish <laughs> charm. Like there's something that like you just love him. He's mm-hmm. just lovable. Mm-hmm. And I don't really know what the word I'm looking for is, but it, it's just yeah. he's he's got sweetness about him. He does. Um, absolutely. Um, and thank you for saying uh, I remind you of Rocky. I don't see it. You were talking about me, right? No, <laughs> no, some other guy. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> um, I don't see it, but uh, thank you for <laughs> saying I look like Renvier. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> um, Alia was great as always. Mm. She says, even though I know you haven't seen Gully Boy, um, her performance is so good. She just, she always has this fieriness in her performances. Um, and their chemistry was off the charts. Um, I loved their relationship. Um, I loved how <laughs> he was. Rocky was basically like a puppy dog. Yeah. <laughs> a gorgeous puppy dog, but a, a puppy dog mm. nonetheless. Um, sorry. Ah. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Um, and then the whole, um, what do you think about the, uh, I thought it was interesting, the relationship between the, um, the two older, um, John and me and Darmenda, Darmendra, the, the guy. Because they're basically having an affair. Yeah. And everybody's like, yeah, this is yeah. great. Yeah, I'm rooting for it. I'm never pro-affair. <laughs> but if it's against Jaya. But, I mean, right, Rick? Sorry. clearly there was no... It definitely wasn't love. There was no relationship. They they weren't in the same room. She got... She even was, like, complaining that she had to take care of him. Yeah. She wasn't even crying at his funeral. Like, mm. she was just sitting in the chair. Like, it was cold, and it was stagnant and gross and heartbreaking. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> heartbreaking. Um, so we're glad it happened to you again, No, Jai. we're not. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. But, I mean, like, clearly it was it was a marriage of convenience rather than anything else because I mean she wouldn't even let her son spend time with his dad which what no and there's multiple things in this that like uh, in my um stupid American brain still even though I understand it in the culture it's like Rocky why are you upset with her right now because she raised her hand okay (laughs) Let me try to understand this real quick. Uh, <laughs> she was, he was incredibly insulting and you're, I, I, I like, I'm saying I don't understand, but I, I understand. I just don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> but he is right. It was a conversation she was not invited to. It he doesn't was not okay. talking to her. It doesn't matter. She was there. Just because you're looking over here doesn't mean she's not in the conversation. It can tell you what, if somebody was saying that to somebody else about my family, they'd get punched in the goddamn face. That's how much respect I show you. <laughs> I get it. Like I said, I understand. Different cultures. It's just dumb. And the fact that she apologized to him again at the end. He got a redemption. He did. But I think the point to that um, was he he literally was changing. Yes. He is fine, I guess. Um, it's better than Jaya getting rid of <laughs> She didn't deserve it. But although her and Amitabha and K3G should get together. They'd be perfect together. Uh, somebody should tell Amitabha. Um, <laughs> uh, all the songs are great. I love the grind. Maybe that's what they roleplay at home. <laughs> maybe, maybe. 
I doubt they roleplay. <laughs> Giant doesn't seem like the roleplay. They literally roleplay for their careers. Why would they want to do that at home? <laughs> I don't know. It's a good time. Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> I think Schaefer makes them dress up in the Sholay outfit. Probably. Hey. I would. I would. I would, too. Um... All the songs are magnificent. I love the grandeur of Karen Johars. I love wardrobe. Yeah, amazing wardrobe. Um, his, just how he, the bigger than life, uh, and how he decides to do his cinema is just a joy to watch. Just like when we were like, when the, in the car and the in the road scene, when she walks away and we're like, "Come on, Renvier, sing to her." <laughs> you want it. Yeah. You crave it. Uh, in, in the Bollywood movies, uh, just cause it, it just fits so goddamn well. Um, and it's unique to Indian cinema, specifically Karan Johar's Bollywood, yeah. uh, which is very unique cinema to him. Um, but yeah, I think he also said in that red scene, I, he wanted to be Rajamouli-esque. Uh, I, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I could totally see that. I could um, also see that in The Wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if I, uh, I missed something. Um, um, deleted scenes. Let's see here. Yeah, we did not see that. Why wasn't it fucking in there? Was that in there? I don't know what word I'm watching. That wasn't in there, right? She was never on the bed. <sighs> no, I never saw this. It's not subbed. We won't know what they're saying. But you'll be fine. Shut up, Rani. Don't take control. Come on. Hello. Tere saamle wali khidki me ek chang ka tukda latka hai. Just shut up. Coming. I beef go. Ab kyu aaya hai? Kamal yaar itni intelligent ho ke bhi guess nahi kar sakti in person sorry bolne aaya hu na but of you. Khol na. Nahi ja yahan se. Rani shanti se baat karte thodi maturity dikha. Tu maturity ki baat kar raha hai? Guts. Please? Nahi. Are mera kamra hai? Of course. Entitled. Ab phir tu bade word use kar rahi hai mere liye? Rocky कुछ नहीं तेरे बिना प्लीज मुझे ग्लास चार्ज दे दे प्लीज <laughs> This must have been right after the his dad dance because that's the outfit he was wearing. देखा जाता है मुझसे तेरे आयु में आंसू आ जाते हैं फिर मुझे बदाश ही होता। That's the outfit he was wearing in the when her dad was dancing. Yeah. मैं नहीं तू रो रहा है। So he must be going there to ask forgiveness. For laughing. Yeah, I love you. In fact, मैं fully in love हूँ यार तेरे साथ. I don't know. मुझे बस डर लग रहा है कि कहीं हम किसी फेरी टेल में तो नहीं जी रहे ना। I mean हम जितनी भी कोशिश कर ले पूरी दिल से कोशिश कर ले लेकिन फिर भी what if what if it doesn't work out? तू लव करती है ना मेरे से? Can you see that eyes? बस लव है तो सब है। Love will conquer. हम फाइट करेंगे ना एक दूसरे के लिए 
Rocky or Rani break on the head. It's not a dandruff. It's not a dandruff. It's not a dandruff. It's a good cuddle position, by the way. Highly recommend. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, I'm guessing it was... So he maybe Was it before went, or after? He probably went to her and then went to... Because cause, cause after that scene, then Dad's on the phone. But then he says it doesn't work. So they must have... It wouldn't have worked in the film. If that's where it is, because... She was talking to the dad after that scene, right? Yeah. She's like, I don't think it'll work. So maybe it's right after, after that. Maybe she gets off the phone and, and he then goes. he's at the window. That would make more sense. Yes. We figured it out. No subtitles. <laughs> and we figured it out. Uh, and they banged it out on the floor right after that. So that was sweet. Oh um, well, they shouldn't be banging each other in real life, so... It's a movie. You think Topeka's out there banging Shah Rukh Khan for the seven films they've been in? No. I hope not. She's not. Um, but, uh, yeah, such a good movie. I agree. It was a good one. Very good. Um, um, this is at the end, so nobody cares. But if anybody ever asks you to do a watch along with it, you should say no, because you might cry. That makes for a good watch along. We'll zoom in on your face multiple times while you tear up. Uh, that, that's what the people want. Uh, they never get it from me, so. Yeah. You've seen me cry. I know. You're like, like the only person outside of acting who has seen me cry. I think your parents have seen me cry. Okay, that doesn't count. I was a child. Since being an adult. Men don't cry. Babe. That's terrible messaging. That's true. Men do cry. I just have no tear ducts. I'm having a procedure done. <laughs> it's just not how he deals with emotions. Yeah. He makes jokes. Go up to Miles, babes. <laughs> um, yeah, great movie. Uh, really enjoyed it. Glad I watched it with you. Thanks. Did you both like it? Rick? Yeah, you both. He didn't like it? Like at all? No, he... He said he liked it, but barely. He was... And we didn't go together because he went to a different showing with uh, Alexa. Oh, Alexis. Alexa. <laughs> um, and he said he was bored. And... Didn't he have some other um, stuff that he said? But no, he <laughs> nowhere near. Oh, like wow. I liked it. Yeah, I was shocked as well. They were shocked that I loved it, which I find super strange. Wow. Um, yeah, Did they go to the right showing? I don't know, babe. Did they see the right movie? That's what I said. I wanted to go right after to go with you um, to, the, to the theater because I would have. I would have watched it literally. And I don't, I don't want to do that with a lot of movies. There's not many movies that I'm like, right after I'm done, I'm like, let's go watch it again. I don't do that a lot. Um, but this one was one of them. Wow. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Oh, yeah. There's I no was not bored. There was no part of it. Like, it, it was a fast three hours. Um, there's there's three-hour movies that feel like three-hour movies. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I've watched them. <laughs> yes. Um, but this was not one of them. This was a, a great one. Um, and I hope Karen Johar keeps making more movies. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our watch along. If you watched us on YouTube, obviously you saw a very cut up version. Uh, if you'd like to see the full uncut version, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description below in the pinned comment once again for you to go check our full uncut reaction out. Uh, let us know what the next Ranveer, Alia, Karen Johar, uh, big Bollywood films. Uh, that we should watch with Steph. She has a ton. 
Um, some that I've seen like this one, uh, or some that we've, we've not seen. We still have a whole bunch of Shah Rukh Khan stuff that we've never gotten to before that she loves. Um, and just a whole bunch of other different things. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, let us know down below and on to the next watch along. <laughs>